Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. I just got finished filming the unboxing of these beads and now I'm going to create something with some of them. Now to figure out what I'm going to create. I know for sure I want to use some coconut beads so I'll pull a strand out. Of course I won't be using the whole thing. There's a lot of beads on one of these strands. Um, these are my favorite. I may be using those. I don't know. These are really pretty. Huh. I'm not going to use the green. I, I think I'm going to use these. And... Huh, I don't know. This is going to be really hard to tell what I need to do. These are really pretty too. Maybe I'll use these. All right, so I've got my beads picked out. I don't know what I'm making yet. I think what I want to do is find some type of spacer beads to go with these. Even though these are spacer beads, I want some type of metal in this. So I'm going to go dig around in my metal stash and see what I can come up with. So this is what I found in all my metal beads. They kind of have uh, an antique silver finish to them and some engraving. I think they're going to go perfect with what I plan to do. And I wanted some bling, so I'm going to use these. These are really nice and shiny. Then I found these little coin crystal beads. Aren't they pretty? And after I found them, I decided to change my mind. I am not using these beads, but instead I'm going back to these druzy beads. So here is my color palette, and then I think I'm going to incorporate some chain in there. So as I look through all these beads, I notice there are several of them that have the blue, and I'm going to pick all of those out and create around them. A lot of them have the chocolate with a little bit of the blue, and I want, since I have these crystals, well, those look nice. I'm going to go more toward the the blue. So I laid them out and played around different configurations and this is what I came up with in the end. I took three of the coconut beads for the very center and flanked them with the brown crystals and then I've got the antique silver beads, some more brown crystals, and then I took some of the bluest in the agates, and then some more brown crystals and silver beads. And then what I did is I took the coconut beads and added a coconut bead and those little um, blue coin crystals in between. So I've got three. And then I came up here, added the uh, silver, antique silver with the brown crystals, and then some more of the agates with another one of those coin crystal beads. Let's go on this side. <laughs> and then I added a bunch of coconut beads and then the silver, antique silver bead with the brown crystals and some more of the coconut beads. Now these coconut beads are not all exactly the same. If you notice, like that bead right there is thicker than maybe this bead or this bead. See how they're different sizes? So I have 10 here, but I only have nine here. So you need to, instead of counting how many beads, you just need to get your ruler out and measure. 
so they will be uniform. So I need to finish stringing up this side and we're almost done. Now before I go on, I want to make sure these are going to be even. And because I have 10 beads here and 10 beads here. I don't think they're even though. So I think I'm going to have to add a couple more beads. Let me make sure. Yeah, at least two more beads. And that looks about right. I need to finish up. Again, I need to measure, and it looks like I'm probably going to need one more thick bead. So let me look through my beads here, either one thick one or two thin ones. See, those two might work. Let's put these on there and see if they're going to work. And they do. They are exactly the same size. So I'm going to finish it off with a little silver tone seed bead on the end. Ah, oh, where did it go? I don't know where it went. <laughs> I got another one here. Some of those sometimes those boogers like to just pop out of out of sight. <laughs> All right. This is going to be nice. So now I need to put my bead tip on. Now I got both my knots in there. Clip the excess. Let's see. There we go. Make sure nothing's sticking out. Now I've got to add the chain, which means I need to get my ruler out and do some measuring. And here it is on. I think it looks really nice. Great fleece for layering or standalone. And you can see just that little hint of bling. Now I'm going to take it off and take you on a final tour of it. This necklace actually wound up being right at 18 inches. And as I said before, I used the coconuts, pretty much three stations. I used the brown crystals, the little crystal coin beads. I took the dizzy agates and picked out the bluest ones. But I did also pick out some of the chocolate ones and add it in there. And we have um, stations here. I didn't count how many beads, but I rather 
uh, measure. They're about an inch and a half. And then I finished it with some chain. I used the Tibetan style turtle back pattern beads in chocolate and then the coconut beads. I will leave a link down at the bottom in the description box uh, where you can purchase these. And if you use the code HIPPIE5, whenever you order anything $40 or more, you can get $5 off. So that's a really good deal. If you'd like to see the unboxing of these beads and the other beads I got, I'll leave a link up here so you can go check that out. Also, let me know what you think of this style of necklace. Leave a comment below. I would really like a thumbs up too. Mostly though, I hope y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.